Subscribe to our channel now to stay up to date with the Dodgers. Are you a true Dodgers fan and always thirsty for fresh news about signings, rumors, and game details? Then this is the right place for you. Our channel is committed to keeping you informed in real time about everything involving your favorite team. When you sign up, you'll get exclusive access to constant updates, in-depth analysis and insights into the Dodgers' every move. Always stay ahead of the news and get ready to be thrilled with each of your team's achievements. Plus, here's an extra reason to join us, all monetization funds generated by this channel will go towards helping poor countries in Africa. Your subscription not only provides you with quality content, but also contributes to important humanitarian causes. We count on your help and support, fans. Together, we can make a difference both in the world of baseball and in the lives of those who need it most. Just click the sign up button and be part of this incredible journey. Come on, sign up now and be part of this team that cares about sport and the world. Dodgers lefty Paxton designated for assignment as Ryan makes debut. The Los Angeles Dodgers made a surprising change to their evolving rotation Monday. Veteran James Paxton of Richmond, BC, was designated for assignment to make room for River Ryan on the 40-man roster. Ryan made his major league debut Monday night against the San Francisco Giants, becoming the 14th pitcher to start for the Dodgers this season. Paxton was tied with Gavin Stone and Tyler Glasnow for most starts on the team with 18. The veteran left-hander was 8-2 with a 4.43 ERA. The 35-year-old Paxton signed a 7 million US dollars one-year contract during the offseason. He allowed two runs over five innings in Sunday's 9-6 victory against the Boston Red Sox. Los Angeles manager Dave Roberts said with the return of Glasnow and Clayton Kershaw from injuries this week along with some young arms the Dodgers want to look at, it was tough finding a fit for Paxton the rest of the way. It was a difficult decision. He handled it like a pro, Roberts said. Uh, we feel good about the starting staff going forward. Glasnow, who went on the injured list July 9th due to back tightness, will be activated and start on Wednesday. Kershaw is scheduled to make his first start of the season Thursday in the series finale after working his way back from off-season shoulder surgery. Even with the returns of Glasnow and Kershaw, the Dodgers are still missing Walker Bueller, right hip inflammation, and Yoshinobu Yamamoto, right rotator cuff. Bueller will throw a bullpen Tuesday before making a couple of minor league rehab starts. Yamamoto isn't expected back until possibly late August. Justin Robleski and Landon Knack are two of the younger pitchers the Dodgers want to see more. Knack will start Tuesday night. With the July 30th deadline looming, the Dodgers are likely to find a trade partner for Paxton. Los Angeles has seven days to trade, release or send him out right to the minors, an assignment he would have the right to decline in favor of free agency. Robert's bigger concern might be with the bullpen. Roberts indicated he is likely to go with a closer-by-committee approach due to Evan Phillips' recent struggles. Phillips has allowed 10 runs, 9 earned, in his last 8 appearances and has an 11.05 ERA since June 30th. He gave up 3 runs in one-third of an inning on Sunday against Boston. For me, the command is just a little bit off. Over the past couple weeks, he was one pitch away from having a good outing, Roberts said about Phillips. We need him to be good, and it's our job to get him back to being who he is.